Hey guys, it's Brian and Justin. Uh, so this episode gets a little weird, and you're probably going to notice it if you're watching on video that we kind of have a disconnect in uh, the, the chat specifically. Yeah. And and don't worry, this is not a case where Justin and I start fighting. This is a weird one. This is where this is one of the rare cases where Justin and I had a disconnect from uh, from the live audience. And uh, at the time, you're, you're going to hear us veer farther and farther away from understanding what they're upset about. But um, we went ahead and plugged in the after show at the end of this. So you hear the show end, and then you'll hear us have some discussions. And in the end, uh, we all get on the same page. Uh, it might be an interesting, you know, I don't know, treatise on discourse on the internet. Sure, and uh, we hope you enjoy it, uh, but uh, if you don't, we understand. Yeah. Uh, also, for the record, it was not cool for you to keep calling me the N-word. That was not cool. Hey, oh, uh, well, you're a real nincompoop. <laughs> oh, you did it again. Zoop, 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 zoop. Let me tell you a story about three bad movies you know so well. They start way back in history with the new hope. Star Wars, you see. I live my life in polite society, and there are brief moments that I embrace flights of whimsy that for me often involve jokes about buttholes and whatever. That's what I'm talking about! Take a look upon the eyes of the wise owl! Would you deem that fake? As fake as a poet is, is a poet fake? Is the glade fake? Is the wind fake? This is Northern Explosion. This is Bubblegum Dream Popsicles. This is Hero Agnew. Tyrannosaurus Superfuck. Fisticus Prime. The Reverginating. So I ask you this, sir. Which one is the real me? <laughs> I told you it would be worse, man. <laughs> ah, you lost the bet. Jesus meets, Jesus meets, Jesus meets, Jesus meets. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday night. And that means it has got to be go time for the best of the worst of the internet. That's right, it's Night Attack. Live from Austin, Texas, I'm Brian Brushwood. Joined, as always, by my BFF and OAK, it's J-R-Y. What's going on, Justin Robert Young? Oh, man. That was an amazing song. Yeah, that's why I'm talking this way. I'll talk this way the rest of the show. In honor of Stephen Cogswell. Why? <laughs> it's a bit. I said it, so I gotta make it true. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to it, even though I'm gonna torpedo our episode. Cool. <laughs> How have you been, Justin? <laughs> great. It's a great show so far, wouldn't you agree? Yes. <laughs> awesome. You know what I love about this show? is <laughs> my voice and your one-syllable answers. Awesome. That's two syllables. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, got back on track. The show's going great. <laughs> All right. You called my bluff. I got nothing. <laughs> How are you doing, man? <laughs> uh, dude. Uh, 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 holy crap, man. This has been a uh, 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 crazy like month you got a big thing man you're 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 off to uh the great white place yeah tomorrow. Coo, loo, coo, 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 coo. sorry i couldn't i couldn't hit the high note um yeah dude i made sure to wear the national crown of canada if you look closely did you see what i'm sporting you see this can you zoom in on this no what's yeah. happening take, take a little look see 
Let's see if we can zoom. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Is that a sunburn? <laughs> yes. It's specifically a sunburn just around <laughs> just around the part of my hairline where you I failed. hair replacement surgery? <laughs> it does look that way, doesn't it? <laughs> um, no, this is where... Uh, I refuse to admit how high my forehead goes, and I only apply suntan lotion to this area and then spend all day shooting guns and blowing up propane tanks with Jason Murphy and then get home, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> and then for days, I have I, I, I look like I'm wearing a, a, a wig. What the fuck, Brian? Wait a minute. So wait, you're telling me that you're... Is it just like you're like, well, no, my my forehead certainly isn't this high. Like <laughs> this is easily as high as it could be. And you just like like put willful disbelief into your head that you're like, nope, that's my hairline. I mean, I, mean, I can't feel <laughs> hair. It's probably really fine right now. I think I think like that's what I'm ascribing after the fact. At the time, I remember thinking like, well, I don't want to get uh, 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 this this white goop in my hair because then I don't know how to, uh, you know. Get get it off, you know, because you get it off and the white goop just goes everywhere and you're like, oh, my God, so much white yeah, goop. Uh, All I wanted to do is get it off. I know. And now it's in my hairline. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. What kind of thing is happening now? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I think I, I thought I was following the crevices, the cracks and crevices of the, the, the crenulated crown that is my head. Uh, and yet here we are. Uh, uh, but but why, why are you going to Canada? Uh, it's a security issue. I, I, um, by which I mean a security conference is having me out. <laughs> uh, uh, where, where, in, where in the great white North? Is it a public thing? Can people go New see you? Scotland. If you are in Halifax, New Scotland, also known as Nova Scotia, then, uh, then come on out, uh, to the Atlantic, uh, security convention, um, at, at, atol seccon, atol seccon. Normally, the kind of stuff where where you go and like do a a show, right? But uh, so and you're going there, you're gonna do a little bit of a show, but uh, but you're not taking show staff. You're going, you're going with uh, with yeah. With well, I, I'm I'm gonna do a little bit of show and walk around and and it, I mean to be honest, it just seems like they're bringing in all stars. <laughs> Hold on, look at look at some of these pictures here. There's one that should jump out to you as it as you scroll through it. Uh, just scroll on down. Tell me if one of these pops out to you, Justin. Do you see one of these characters <laughs> that uh, uh, <laughs> I guess the default image is, is yeah, the, yeah, 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 the, I guess if you don't send them a a uh, a picture, they just put the the Captain Picard fail face palm. Like yeah. Palm. No, but I'm I'm really excited about it. It lo it looks like they got um some amazing. Uh, see, uh, to be honest, it 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 feels like uh, I'm gonna get everything I got out of going to DefCon, which was pretty pretty rad. So, uh, but right. I get to take Bonnie with me, and uh, it'll be it'll be fun. What what about you, man? How you wait, been? Hold on, wait a minute. Let's not get off this real quick. Okay. Do you have any like Halifax puns? Like, are you like, are you gonna like open with some great like Halifax humor? No, I well actually like I was gonna say like uh uh. I was going to make like a caliphate joke, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh but just open with a really easy to understand and non-controversial icebreaker. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, well, when I got the call, I thought I was being booked by ISIS, but then I realized it's in Halifax, not the caliphate. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you don't think that's a great Let's opener? Let's punch this up. Let's punch this up. You have any other ideas? We can workshop this. These are the caliphate humor. Um, uh, oh, hey, is that poutine over there? Hope there's no pork in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what with this being a caliphate? What? Hold on. I'm getting a call from my agent. Uh, huh? Uh, Halifax? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, when I left America, uh, I wasn't sure whether I was going to the right Halifax or alternative facts. Hey. <laughs> and then you start getting booed because you're not doing caliphate jokes. Like it's just they are only here for jokes about the uh, 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 hegemonic dominance of Islamic law. That's the only reason. 
and security. But those two things mostly are the reason why they've come to this conference. Yeah, th this is when I flip and go to full-on Gallagher mode. I'm like, who wants to see the flesh, Jack? <laughs> and then they start clapping. No, I think you should just do, all right, the caliphate comedian. Like, I'm not saying you should give up your job. As it's going to be great. It's going to go over great. I just think the caliphate comedian, uh, you, you run out with, with uh, you just rip off Gallagher's act. What is he doing? <laughs> And right. so, and so, what what's the big tease at the end? Instead of smashing the watermelon, what am I what am I you getting ready to somebody? do? Somebody stick with watermelons, right? <laughs> but all, all of his watermelons, they but, always. But have I just write the word "infidel" on the side exactly. of the watermelon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here's the infidel. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna go great. It's gonna I think go great. this is gonna be really, really good. Uh, uh, how long are you there? Um. Until they tear me apart for sacrilege when I do my bit as the caliphate the comedian. The caliphate comedian. <laughs> uh, dude, that is uh, that is that is super 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 awesome. I I, I will be uh, I will be be sitting in my bed in the fetal position, uh, uh, not moving, which is my. You know, it's it's a it's a vacation in my mind. <laughs> well, what what has your last week or two been? Because uh, this was a this was a busy one for me. Wait, I don't uh, know why uh, I said that. There's literally no follow up to that. Like all I get, like that's just me randomly bragging about how busy I am, <laughs> and then saying, what, "What have you done that measures up to what I've accomplished?" <laughs> Well, especially since it also ran over the setup that I'm sick, and you're like, "Hey, cool." Anyway, I've been busy. I didn't know. I didn't know you were curled up in the fetal position because you were sick. I thought. I thought like but you had just normally, got you'd done. You'd be like, "What? What's up with that? That doesn't seem like you normally." Can we explore that further? <laughs> Instead, it was like, "Cool." Anyway, check my sketch. My G has been off the hizzy. <laughs> Um, so anyway, the caliphate is the <laughs> inarguably infallible right hand of God, right? <laughs> and only when Sharia law is implemented throughout the entire world will the caliphate indeed be secured. True story. I, I, w I went to the, the Pete's coffee shop on Lakeview Avenue here in Oakland, and for whatever reason, on their little contactless payment thing. Mm hmm just a little sticker that says ISIS. <laughs> what? Oh, because of uh, that used to be the payment system was ISIS. Yeah, was ISIS. And uh, I just buy my coffee and I'm like, and there's a line behind me, so I don't want to make it a big deal. But I just uh, uh, point to the I'm like, hey, does this say ISIS on it? <laughs> and you knowing full well why that's there, but just wanting yeah. to make it awkward. And she's like... Uh, I mean, look at, uh, uh, yeah. So it changed its name to soft card. It's a good change. Uh, yeah. she picks it up and she just looks at me and she just goes, she has like this kind of horrified look on her face. <laughs> She's just like, it appears so. <laughs> Dude, I called that stuff way early. Uh, when, you know, when, when ISIS, uh, you know, start, first started making the news, I was just like, hey, man. When they, when they, cool. Back when they had their first single. Uh, I know, uh, right? Do. But, but specifically, I called it in relation to how Archer was going to handle it. I was like, all right, oh, votes. Yeah. How fast does Archer change the name of the organization? And people were like, no, they had it first. It refers to an ancient Egyptian Greek goddess or whatever. And sure enough, first episode in the background, you just see them wheeling out <laughs> the logo yeah. that says ISIS on it. And that's the only reference that they've made that was it let's not even try let's just keep moving along uh so yeah no i was i got sick two days ago and i've been sick today and it just sucks i just hate being sick it's just such garbage it's what, just, what like, kind of sick is it is it like um is it that because here's what drives me nuts is that that mushy middle where you can't tell if it's allergies or for real sick you know where it's like, well, I'm kind of sniffly and I'm super tired and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I don't know. I'm either a lazy person with la allergies or actually sick. Like, I well, kind of – Because I think we, we actually – this is something that we bonded over back when we were both traveling a lot. Like, you, you, you know when you're sick. But you also know when you're sick so much that you know when you can push it down. And there's a lot of times where you can actually just push it off. You can, you can push off being sick through – 
your mental prowess and and, and just an keep astonishing going. Uh, to an astonishing degree. Like like there have been yeah. times that I've been full on you know dead on my feet, but but there's something about that crowd showing up and like like anything less than turning on you know the the. The, the, the full show is just not an option, but your body, you can't lie to your body. Like the show's over and you're like, yeah. hey, body, let's just keep on rolling with what we're doing right now. And your body's just like, uh, uh, no, no, I'm union. <laughs> your body, your body's a union and union rules say we show up, we do the gig and then we're done. We're out. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you this. Has your, uh, your ability to do that waned or totally gone away since effectively now we just sit in our houses and talk into the can, can and, I, and also it can be content if we talk about how we're sick can because I, it's a relatable thing that people can connect to can i tell you i i don't think i've talked about this in any public forum but i uh i've I, decided to support the cow <laughs> <laughs> I'm announcing it it's <laughs> <in> Halifax. <laughs> um uh there's a quote from uh from uh Mark Twain that says comfort makes cowards of us all. Yeah. And I'll be damned if that's not the truest thing I've heard or or read in the year 2017. And it's and it's just like being home is a delight. I get to see my kids. I get to, you know, work on 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 stuff. I'm I'm much more productive in terms of answering emails and all that stuff and and planning stuff uh because but on the flip side, man, I just was I was hard like steel all the time on the road because you had a place to be and a gig to do and faces to melt all the time. But now I've got a, a 4-year-old to pamper uh, some ramen that needs boiling <laughs> and a game of hearthstone that's half finished. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, baby. We are there. Like no more. Uh, dude, I totally hear you. And now it's just like before this level of sick, I just would have been like, whatever, man, put me up with some drugs. I'm going to pretend like it's not happening and we're just going to keep it rolling. And now I woke up this morning and I'm like, I'm sick. I want to make a griddle cheese. And, uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll make it to the chair to do my podcast and then I'll wipe <laughs> off my microphone. But other than that, like, there's no more bravery. There's no more uh, 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 mind over matter. Like, I live this life the way that I the, the way that I live it. You know, it's enough. It's made me rethink a few things, though, and and that's a lot of people have noticed that we haven't had ads on this show for for a while. Um, oh, I'm, I'm glad but, you brought this up because um, uh, did they reach out to both of us at the same time, or did they hit you up first? I I, I don't know. I mean, who knows how these emails get bounced back and forth and forwarded? But uh, uh, we got a couple ad reads. Uh, uh, I know a lot of people are kind of tired of hearing the same kind of ads. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you; these these are a lot of the same kind of ads. That, that you that you hear before but uh but uh, I figured Bryce you know he's he's become such a big part of the show over the last uh the last few weeks we could we could let him read the ads uh, uh for us so so we're oh, just gonna right. we're keep, just gonna keep us on track it. right don't let us get all sure, distracted sure. Well, you know well, right, should, right. should we should we jump into this first yeah one? yeah please okay. yeah so so Renegu says I don't want a Casper mattress Listen, man. The, the, whoever's paying for these ads are paying for these ads. I'm not. We're, we're not gonna make a big deal about it. Don't go lighting up their Twitter or anything, saying dirty shit. Like, just, just be cool. We're gonna get through this ad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go. Do you love your bed? Nope. Neither do we. Your bed is bad, but it shouldn't have to be. In fact, it's so bad you should feel very bad about it. It, it probably it. You probably hate yourself a little when you wake up. Would you like to not feel like you're slowly dying? Would you like to feel healthy, self-confident, with a new lease on life? Of course you would. Or maybe not. <laughs> you know, I have a spring mattress in my home, and when I wake up, I want to die. <laughs> Do you deserve happiness? We're going to find out. Buy a soft coat mattress. Uh, so wait. there you go. There's, <laughs> uh, just, but I'm painless, right? Like Very We just easy. have a painless ad read. Like, that's... Just easy. We can make our way through. Just keep going with the show. It's, it's, it seems weird, Justin, that they didn't have a coupon code or even a URL. It was probably a CPM deal. Is that right? Uh, yeah. I, I, to be honest, they just sent me this. They they bought three ads throughout the show, so we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I I, I just forwarded all this here to. Uh, I just forwarded this, this all this was, here. This to was Bryce, ISIS. So. 
Is this our, our softco mattresses? Oh, sorry. Softco. Yeah. It's softco now. I'm sorry. I get mixed up. Please. It's soft one card. The, soft, soft card yeah. used to be ISIS. That was one of the excludes on this ad, so we're going to have to talk to Josh to cut that uh, Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, dude, what is going on in the world? That's a good question. Uh Actually, I don't even know what, what – and to be honest, like, I've kind of dialed out on what everybody's angry about. <clears throat> and uh, – Oh, here's, here's one. Do you want, you want to talk about this? These kids, uh, the, 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 the daddy 05? Yeah. You oh, you know what? Actually, I am, I, am, I am relatively virginal. I have seen about 10 seconds of this. What's the hot take? Uh, we're, what are we supposed to be outraged about right now? Uh, so there's this uh, a YouTube channel called Daddy O Five. Uh, they uh, they do pranks. Uh, many of them involve their kids. Many of them uh, have their kids as the butt of of the prank. They are mm. pranking their kids. Uh, but it is notable in two in two levels. Number one, uh, many of the ones that are getting attention are not like. Uh, oops, like the tooth fairy isn't real or, uh, uh, you know, uh, your, your chocolate I promised you is really broccoli, like, or something like that. It's, uh, uh, Hey, why did you lose this specific thing that you were supposed to have? And they scream at the kids like you're, you're, I can't believe you did this. Like you're, you're awful. Uh, you're never going to get anything ever again. Like, like real trauma played out as a prank and then there's a few uh times where the dad gets a little physical with the kids that that put a lot of people off um the only one i saw was when he pretended that it was a uh a giant apocalypse and the emergency broadcast system was on and he abandons the kids <laughs> which is not a, i mean i'm laughing even as i say the premise um okay how much pro wrestling you think is happening in this well, all right. So here, have you, you you've seen none of this? None of this. Well, here, get 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 the volume up. This was uh, from Philip DeFranco. Was the one who brought up uh, the video. Let's run a little bit of this. What did you do? What the fuck? I didn't do that. What the hell is that? I didn't do that. You tell me what you did. And it's just a bunch of playing cards on on the Cody. floor. And he's definitely wearing pro wrestling style T-shirt that says Team D05. Yes, you did. It's just a prank, bruh. And so there was a range of. All right, all right. Pause this. Pause this. I'm gonna call it right now. I will be shocked if this is not everybody's in on it, and this is a commentary on prank culture. I I will bet you anything. This is intentionally incendiary, and that the kid. Is is prepped beforehand, and they are intentionally making it the, the taking the YouTube prank culture to its logical perverse extreme, uh, hoping that uh, that's that a justice warrior like uh, like Philip DeFranco will call them out on it. So that has been you correctly identified uh, the next stage in this. They then come out and say, uh, yes, this is. Uh, this is fake. We were afraid to ever call it. Uh, apparently, they have been uh, asked if it was fake before, and they, oh my God, they definitely got a fucking PR agent, by the way, because this is definitely different than the video that I saw. <laughs> the, the video that I saw after Philip DeFranco first uh, 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 popped him on it was very, very, very just like, you know, they had, uh, they you know, were puffy from crying and, and they were dressed the way that they normally dress and they're in bad lighting and they're just like, like, yeah, it was fake, man. We can't, we can't say it's fake. That kills YouTube channels. It kills channels if you admit that it's fake, but it's fake, man. And they're like crying and everything. And so this video that we're looking at now is like well lit and they're wearing their Easter finest <laughs> and, you know. So what do they say? Uh, I have not seen what this we've one. Done and to see how we've come across, and I understand how everyone feels. I I acknowledge, and and I respect how everyone feels about this, and I do agree that we put things on the internet that should not be there. We did things that we should not do, 
and as a mother over the last week, looking back at the videos and just thinking about things, if I didn't know the people and I saw some of those things, I would be thinking the same thing. I would be like, oh my God, those poor children. Once people started watching, <laughs> man, with the with the fade out and fade in, uh, wow. I mean, even if the kids are in on it, which it, the little bit that I've seen doesn't necessarily, I I don't, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so so here's 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 the 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 steps. We kind of went a little bit out of order. Yeah. So Philip DeFranco brings attention to this channel, makes a big deal about it, right? Their first video is. Hey man, what's the big deal about all this? Like, and he's interviewing the kids, and the kids are like, "Hey, it's not a big deal. Like, at least you don't beat us like other parents do." <laughs> and we really like the videos, and and we get uh, toys from the 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 stuff, uh, and you show us the videos before you post them to make sure that we're okay with it. Uh, and then the kind of pressure mounted and mounted and mounted. And oh, they also bragged in the first video about being investigated by child services and beating the rap. And so they're like, all these people that are saying child protective services, they've already been to the house. They didn't find anything. So suck it. I mean, uh, but but, the, but again, back to the pro wrestling metaphor, they're just play, straight up playing the heel and they're doing it as, as a family, right? But playing the villain is different than playing a child abuser. Well, but 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 when oh okay. So um keep in mind everything uh, you're about to hear is from somebody also, who publicly uh, uh tweeted out, "Hey, tune in live to watch me shock my daughter with a dog shock collar." Okay. And then we did that. Like like I if they're guilty, I am guilty, right? So so I I, I, don't I, think, I mean well, okay, hey, also, we, we can argue degrees, but yeah, but okay. I exploited my children for fun and merriment, uh, mm. and then there were people shouting, uh, 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 "Children can't give consent. This is torture." <laughs> even though, even though I mean, we started at five and then went up by degrees as long as the sure. kids were comfortable or whatever. But it's like at some point, mm. uh, I, I, I assume I, I don't know. Like if they're all on the same page, no matter, no matter, like if if they cross a line of offense. It seems to me like that is the point of of what I I hope this performance art is stri is striving to achieve. Well, the question. All right, so so they have said that it's performance art. Uh, they did not say it was performance art. A, a it was not transparently performance art, which Correct. right, can't. which which again is kind of the point of performance art, right? Is to leave you wondering. I mean, I I I think pro wrestling is performance art, and be sure. specifically because. It's not clear where the boundaries are and where something begins and the other ends. Well, I mean, these days, certainly, you could make more of an argument in the past with wrestling. Now, it is very clear that they are actors, like, performing, well, playing roles, yeah, right? Yes and no. When it spills over into Instagram and there's and there's footage of somebody banging somebody's wife or, you know, is that performance art or is that an actual act of infidelity that's upsetting to someone? Sure. Like, and yes, the art is in blurring those lines. Correct. But, you know, even, you know, provocateurs have some kind of tell. Like, like, like Darren Brown, right? Darren Brown always at the beginning of all of his specials was like, everything that's done here is done using uh, psychology. You know, I forget his whole listing of everything. And then he puts misdirection at the end. Now, everything is misdirection and the other five things don't matter. Right. But. He he leaves that that kind of like honest liar thing out there, right? That that and 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 it, with magic, that's the difference between a magic a magician and a con man, right? Is right. is the magician is saying, "Hey, I'm going to fool you. Uh, uh, I'm doing it in a way that makes me smarter and maybe more clever than you, and hopefully you're entertained by it." And a con man's like, "Oh my God, give me fifty dollars, or else your head's gonna fall off." <laughs> Uh, in, in in a way that will motivate that kind of thing. So I do think that there is a line here that we shouldn't be be glossing over. But for them, they don't give any hint until they're busted. And then at the end of it, like now I didn't see that video, but that hostage video of them in their in their in their Sunday finest uh, saying that what they did was wrong makes me believe that they're, uh, they're th this might not have been as performance arty as they initially. Uh, assumed it was. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I, I figured. Uh, 
I mean, again, this is nothing but me projecting. I've seen all of 30 seconds of this, but I'm so I'm speaking to, in theory, what I assume it is. But but I mean, I know it is offensive to people, and I'm okay with that, right? Um, I believe sure. that, and and you know, uh, there's a bunch of comments going uh, in the chat room right now. It's like, yeah, but kids, 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 all of which are coming from people who don't have kids, uh, because no. uh, which I which I do think factors into it. Because in a world where, like, if you want to see real child abuse. Turn on literally any sitcom with a child in it because that child is going through real abuse, like 12 hours, 14 hours a day real abuse, not going to school, exposed to drug use. You know, it's like there's a reason child stars are fucked up for the rest of the life. Um, and but it's uh, go but ahead. That, that's. I'm making an equivalency between these things, right? Like if okay, so yeah, those well, the, actors the, are the only the only difference like is this that is better because it's not in Hollywood. Uh, what, well, uh, no, 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 uh, Brian, I, I think that that uh, I'm I'm actually the reason why I wanted to bring this up with Brian is because Brian has has two degrees of expertise that I would say ninety nine percent of our audience doesn't have, which is a a career on YouTube and b multiple children. Like, and, and, and I'm, 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 that's why I think that you are definitely right. I, the one thing I would say is if you watch more of the videos, I think that there are troubling elements that even if it is like, let's say that it is performance art. Sure. There's a, there's a thing where he pushes the kid into a sharp edge of a, Oh geez. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Regardless, I, I will, I will say that I suspect that there's virtually nothing I would see in this that would make me feel like they're, I mean, they're, they're definitely exploiting their kids, but so does every parent who takes their kids on a Hollywood set. And I don't think the line is as neat as everybody on the outside would like to believe it is. Because the only difference is these guys are showing the ugly parts and other, you know, and, uh, uh, oh, geez, uh, eight is enough. <laughs> Is not showing the ugly parts. How's that for but, a for an up to date reference? But if, with Dick Van Patten. <laughs> but you might also see where what you're saying sounds like it's better because they're the fake part of this is. I'm not fake saying. I'm abuse. not saying. No, no, no. I am not saying this is great. I'm saying everything you think is great. The right way to exploit kids. You are fucking fooling yourself. And the actual reality is horrific, way worse than even what you're seeing in this. And that's but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're you're saying those are worse. I that it, I I think comparing those two things does not change how bad this is. And well, it sounds like you're trying okay, to apply. Like, okay, but see, th okay. this is this is to me this is a weak argument because this is like yeah, but I can see this. This becomes a, an aesthetics based argument, which which uh, which I really disgusts me. I get really deeply offended when essentially it boils down to like, but I can see this and it's ugly. Therefore, it deserves more attention than the the just as ugly thing that I can't see. Um, and so I, what I'm saying is, however ugly this is, the reality. Of, of child stars is even is much more horrific. I would wager. Okay. Uh, all right. Hey, listen, a lot of people are super hot about this. Uh, uh, I, I, I can understand where it's a touchy subject. I can understand where, uh, 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 you know, it's going to be like, it's certainly a very personal issue for a lot of people. The idea of, of childhood abuse is a thing. I certainly was in an abusive household when i was growing up i'm not trying to step on anybody's pain but holy shit man we have an ability to talk about this and we don't just want to shut down lines of communication now i will say again i think if and when brian watches the rest of these videos he will have a different opinion than he has right now however that's my projection on brian as uh, in, in in the same way as anybody else's projection on brian and and uh uh like Brian has a very valuable – I, I really was excited to talk to you about this because I do think that there is an element, especially when you're looking at YouTube, uh, where you're looking to play this very specific game uh, if you want to involve your kids. If, if, if let's take the idea that you wanted to run this like a professional wrestling thing, that you wanted to do specifically and meticulously scripted, uh, let's say you even got little child actors – to play your children, they weren't even really your children, and you paid them, and they were union. Like even at that point, where is the line to create this art? Is an interesting topic, at least for me. But I don't know. 
I mean, everybody else is so is so fired up about it. Yeah, I'm just saying, you might want to jump jump in a jump in a, a, a lake, you know, because it'll calm you down. The calming lake. <laughs> that that took a very interesting turn with the. Calming I'm just saying, lake. the lake's really calm. It's got a babbling brook feeds into it. He's got a little goose in the middle of it. He's just honking around. There's a lily pad, maybe a frog. It's a calming lake. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, man. Um, How about Bryce? Why don't you go ahead and read our second hey, ad? We, read we, our second <laughs> ad. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we did get a second ad. All right, here we go. Um, a lot of people lately have been talking to me about joy, and I can't blame them. Uh, thanks to the Softco mattress, most of the available a planet is sleeping better than they were before. Now, what's your problem? Seriously, you think you're better than everybody else? Who the fuck do you think you are? A king? King asshole, maybe. Now listen. Go on. <laughs> read it. This is money on the line. They, sure. This yeah, sponsor on, is on. paying Let's, us the really big bucks. up this first segment with this daddy of five thing. It is on you to make this money back for sure, us. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let, me, let me take it back. Let me, who the fuck do you think you are? A king? King asshole, maybe. Listen, when you come to me and tell me that you don't need a good mattress, I think get the fuck out of here. Who the... Is the the owl impression part of the ad? Like, is that written? Like, please. What does it say? What does it say? What does the ad read say? It, fill in a personal anecdote about how the listener is just a little too big for their britches. And, <laughs> and I, I, I believe it. You know, when we have to get to the point of telling people to use softco matches, uh, mattresses rather, not sure, matches. Those sure, sure. The other, the other subsidiary. Uh, I think like. How do you not already know this? You think you're you think you're too good for a softco mattress? Like what the fuck? Come on. Uh, here we go. Uh, are you gonna get off your goddamn high horse and enjoy a good night's sleep, fuckface? Well, Jesus, your father was right about you. Buy a softco mattress. <laughs> <laughs> your father was right about you. I only read what they put on the. I only put what they... Hey, listen, we get paid to read the copy. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Bryce. I'll tell you what. Uh, here's something else. Uh, you can go on over to Patreon.com slash Night Attack if, you would like to, uh, if you'd like to support this show. Uh, we, uh, we're, we're having a great time over there. Uh, uh, and, and you can, too, get uh, uh, RSS feeds for the after show and the pre-show. You get them earlier than everybody else does if you are a patron of our program. Yeah, and uh, coming this week... Discord rewards. Uh, you, if you're a Weird Things or a Cord Killers patron, you already saw it. Um, but uh, we're going to have a $1 level. It's a new specific. We can't edit the old ones because they're less than a dollar and it, we can't change the number. Which sure. Is, uh, great design. Um, but you, you're you're going to get an email uh, on your Patreon email. It says, hey, click the $1 reward level and you'll get uh, exclusive access to the Diamond Lounge in our Discord. Uh, and if, you, if you're not even there, just go to the Discord, uh, nightattack.tv slash Discord and join the fun. All sorts of good stuff happening over there. This is hilarious to me because the folks in the chat who are all like, after this Daddy of Five thing, I'm not sure if uh, adjusting my play Patreon pledge is a good idea. I'd be really curious to hear anybody say what they think I believe because this is obviously, this is clearly a breakdown, but um, uh, whatever it is you think I believe, uh, my guess is it, it, you, you probably, if, if you think it's bad, you're wrong. And if you think it's good, you're right. How about that? Uh, Yeah. I, I I mean, I'll tell you now. I can understand why this topic's so hot. Yeah, like, dude. Because because I I was I, I thought it was like I thought we were gonna get into like a, a fairly interesting like what's the line kind of conversation. But like people are out for these uh, out 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 for it. And listen, I think they're dicks. Like uh, I I guess I've watched a little bit more of it than 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 Brian has. I certainly have more of a feeling on who these people are, and it is not a positive one. Uh, sure. But but holy shit, the idea that we can't even have a conversation about it is 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 wild. Well, especially because like my thesis, and and keep in mind, I am ignorant. I'm totally ignorant of how bad they are. I am I am beginning with the thesis that they are bad people because they're exploiting their children, but. I'm going to say that the only difference between them and all the child actors you see everywhere else is that you're just seeing the nasty parts because, like, uh, uh, there's nothing great about people who uh, put their kids on television or movies or any of that. I mean, it's like it's they're the same people, I think. I think uh, I'm not saying these people are great. I'm saying that other people are, are just are even worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, so 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 they're. Uh... There we go. Tell you what, 
wasn't going to bet that that was going to be more controversial than joking about the Califite. Yeah, dude. Uh, welcome, to, welcome to uh, 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 our annual digging of the hole episode. Is it <laughs> deep enough yet, Justin? Uh, hold on. Uh, no, I feel like uh, we could probably stay on this topic another fifteen minutes and just chase everybody no, out of I, the room. I, I think you're right, though. I think I think there's something there's something magical that we're not seeing about it that just makes it an untalkable subject. Which, um, I don't know. Uh. Boy, the internet loves to be outraged. I mean, number one, of course, and here's the fucked up thing. And listen, everybody here who has been with us for a long time, even some of the people, some of the names in here that are like, move on, move on. You guys understand that the more you yell at us to move on, the more the fascinated more we become with how deep do this hole about. is. Like, like, uh, oh, move on. Yeah, but, but oh, man, this hole is deeper than I thought it is. I mean, this conversation is not going to get better unless you watch these videos. And I don't think that's a good direction for the show either. Uh, that's interesting. I never even considered Christ. that it would get any better watching the, the videos. But you would come from a place of having seen them instead of being able to, instead of just saying, but, I haven't seen them. No, 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 seen no but I'm saying them, it doesn't but... matter. Like, like they could literally show him bloodying his son's face and, uh, uh, with his fists. And I'd be all like, yeah, no, um, you know, Stanley Kubrick tortured some people on set. You know, I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, uh, I, I, okay. I mean, I mean, I, I will I will become as outraged as everyone else, but but understand, I still believe that that people you know uh, child actors look when there's hundreds but of so thousands you, you, of dollars you, on the line. You, you, you brought you, child actors in. You brought Hollywood and all that stuff into this. That's all I'm interested. in. I'm not interested in these guys. Okay, I, I, I like that's, that's, right. that's that's the part that's interesting to me is that is that um, is that what people don't realize is whatever it is you're seeing, whatever it is you're outraged about. It, it pales in comparison to what happens behind the scenes, but nobody wants to talk about that. They all want to be like, no, you have to be angry at this one family because YouTube. Well, which, you know, if, if, if that's what I we're mean, all stuck the on, then so, the moment, Listen, so I'm, I'm saying okay. you should be angry at this family. This, this family deserves anger. And, 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 and the fact that there are, and I agree with you, Brian, there's more to what we see in mainstream entertainment than you might think. I don't think that, that that necessarily lessens or makes it different that I think uh, uh, these people deserve scorn. They, they have earned scorn. They deserve scorn uh, based on what I've seen, right? And I haven't seen everything. Brian hasn't seen everything. I don't think anybody here has gone through their entire fucking library and watched every single version of those, uh, every single video of theirs, right? I think by and large just blew up that way. I felt to Franco. Other people have covered it. You know what the fucked up thing about it is, though? Why do people not like Temple of Doom? <laughs> Which is, and we've talked about this. This is bullshit because Temple of Doom may be yeah. the best of the entire bunch. It's the only completely self contained episode that indicates that Indiana Jones had a long lasting legacy of adventures all over the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, there was a musical number and. Uh, it's got a great intro, and they're at Club Obi Wan. Okay, what? all right, that that's that is the one. Star uh, Wars. I, I I wish you hadn't brought that up. That's the one. That's the one glaring like eh, really. Hmm. Wait, what what part? The Club the, Obi Wan musical number or Club, Club, Club Obi Wan? Do you think that was Spielberg's idea, or do you think? Uh, hey, do you think we could call it uh, Club Club <laughs> Obi Wan? Because I have this. Because there's. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm Obi-Wan. Steven Spielberg, and uh, I, I. I think uh, we should actually call it a uh, 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 club uh, uh, American jazz because it's an American style jazz club in Shanghai uh, that Lao owns. So I, I. I think it should probably be called. What? Well, what? Well, yeah, but uh, you know, I was just thinking it would be a fun. You know, some of the maybe maybe a few people would see it and they'd be like Obi Wan. That's like Obi Wan Kenobi. Then then maybe I'd sell more action figures. So, so like from Star Wars, you just want us to take a random name. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, uh, George. I'm sorry. I'm I'm Steven Spielberg. Uh, you uh, uh, you you took Obi Wan. That's like uh, it's it, it's a name in Mandarin Chinese for something cool, right? Uh, uh, um, yeah, I, as far as as far as you know, 
It's uh, it could be. It Are could you be. trying to pull one on me? <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. Uh, it's it's good to say. You know, maybe it's a clone. Maybe it's the letter B, letter O, and the number one O B one. Starting to sound more and more like <laughs> Doctor Evil. By the second. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that's that's up to you. <laughs> oh my God! Wait. No, that's Japanese. Don't be a racist. It auto detected. Oh. It auto detected Japanese and translated O B one to deception. It's it's Wait. Japanese for deception. That's no, what okay. I told Where you from the beginning. Where does that scene take place in Temple of Doom then? Well, it it um, you know, it takes place in India, but maybe maybe I mean, he's, he's no, Kermit. That scene doesn't take place in India. That scene takes place in Shanghai, right? right. Which is uh, maybe maybe it was opened by a Japanese man, a, a <laughs> j- j- Japan man. The funniest part about this bit is you're convincing me, Steven Spielberg, that this is the right move. Like he's well, a really cogent argument. I, I'm, I fleshed it out very deeply. You know, he could have, he could present as Japanese, but maybe be an alien from a different, a long time ago, far away. Too you never far, know. George. Too far. I swear to God, one of these days your magic's gonna run out. <laughs> never. I'm, I've, I've got nine more movies planned. <laughs> Uh, no, the, he escapes the clutches of Lao Che in Shanghai, China. So he is in Shanghai. Mm. Nice try, Lao. He closes the door of the plane and it says YouTube.com slash daddy <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, shit, man. Hey. Uh, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump's a great president. <laughs> hey, you know what we did? We didn't do a name chant. Do we want to do a delay? No, no. Chant corner hour? No. Yes. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Uh, okay. We look, we got, we got Decepticons. We got people, uh, hacking the system as it were. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to hold him to it because somebody – screw it, screw it. I'll well, hold him to it. Hold on, Brian. That's because we're ready for the – Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of – Man, uh, which should we do? The person who pledged $1? Or the person who upped his pledge to ten dollars and then upped it again to fifty dollars. Oh man, that's a real tricky one. I would say the one <laughs> who upped their pledge to fifty. Although here, here's the deal. We're gonna check back next week. And if you dropped it by next week, we're taking this back. We're going back, we're editing the episode and we're deleting your name chance <laughs> corner out. editing out of the episode. <laughs> All right. Then I, <laughs> I yeah. by the you way You think I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding? Quiet quietly in the chat, Max Trollbot says, uh, maybe go for the one dollar guy. <laughs> uh, because our fifty dollar pledger is none other than Max, Max Trollbots. Trollbots. Max Trollbots. Max Trollbots. Max Trollbots. Max Trollbot. Max Robot. Dude. Robot. Dude. Robot. Robot. I'm so excited, I'm so excited that, he's that he's pledged $50, $50 per episode, per episode till the end of time. time. That's, That's really, really exciting. exciting. Thanks, Max Robot. One week. If it's not there, some... <laughs> Swear to God, Robot! Remind us in one week <laughs> that if Max Robot has dropped his plank, by the time next week rolls around, we are editing that out of the episode. And that's the only thing we're editing out. How Great. serious am I on a scale from one to Daddy O5? I... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Great job, fucko. Uh, <laughs> dude. Uh, so so what what else is on the agenda, man? Uh, I guess I'm I'm then. Uh, uh, can we can we talk real quick about um? Oh shit! Did I tell you about Jay jumping off a two story building? Oh yeah, you went to the stunt ranch for yeah. for Modern Road, right? Stunt uh, stunt ranch. Uh, StuntScience.tv is where you can see some of the stuff. Um, uh, this guy is literally right around the corner, like like uh, less than than. Three, four miles as the crow flies. Like I ride my bike Holy over shit, to it. Really? Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, the dude is cool as fuck. His name is uh, is Steve Wolf, and he does. You know, 
Stunt Ranch does a bunch of corporate retreats. Like they've got this van that um, that's all rigged up to explode on command. And so what they do is they get people in there and they're like, you know, make your awesome action pose and you dive away. And then they, they hit it in a mushroom cloud of, 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 of yellow explosion goes everywhere, which makes it sound like you're coming pollen. Um, but, but instead, uh, but uh, uh, in addition to that, he also does like uh, concealed carry um, classes and, uh, uh, w- like his son Dash is amazing. He's 11 years old. Dude's a stunt driver, full on stunt driver, full on uh, e brake, J turns, peeling out, skidding. They did. They they got this video of 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 his son driving a car, and his dad comes in on a zip line. Uh, it's a convertible. He zip line comes in. Kid, 11 year old, driving the car, matches speed. Dad drops into the 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 passenger seat, and off they go. Uh, it's the coolest shit ever. And he's uh, he actually built, he developed um this uh uh, uh, uh you, you you know in, in cartoons it's like somebody's trapped in a fire up on the sixth floor and they're like oh help me. And then yeah. they've, they've got like a trampoline or whatever. Um, uh, or, or you know, you see stuntmen and they're landing on cardboard boxes or whatever. Like, yeah. that's really rough on the body. And so what he did is he created um, the, the uh, they used to inflate just giant kind of kind of square balloons. Uh, yeah. But the problem was people would land and they would land safely, but but they would bounce like a trampoline. So they would come down from six floors, land on it, and then... Uh, and then and then it would fling them off, and then they get seriously injured when it when it bounced them off into the into the concrete out there. So yeah. he developed this thing that it's it's a square with a big target on there, and then uh, oh look at this, and inside are all of these chambers. Um, is that me? Yes. Oh wow, that's awesome. Inside are all of these chambers that are like fingers filled with air. So what happens is is the ones you land on collapse. All the other ones inflate and envelop you to keep you from going anywhere because because they're all it's all a shared chamber and then uh, uh, and then you uh, uh, you're fine like yeah there you go that's me falling from uh, uh, a third story building on yeah. there but uh, oh, it it God, was that's awesome yeah dude it's amazing and uh, uh, Jason and I had a great time um, there uh, uh, he made the the outrageous claim uh, what sounded like an outrageous claim that he could take literally anyone and teach them how to stand is, hold a 357 mag in them the guy the guy who runs the, the the stunt ranch yeah yeah steve wolf uh and this was fascinating he he said he he made the claim that whether you've ever fired a gun before or not he can teach you everything from your feet up to your hands to do so that the very first shot you ever take with a gun is a bullseye and i'll be damned if he didn't do it and and it was it was intense man uh it, it was really really amazing and this is all this is all coming to the modern road. Yeah, we got we got two episodes, uh, but but we're gonna do, um, man. I, I don't think I, I don't think I've shared this. Um, we we've, we've got a sponsor coming up. Uh, it, it, not everything is secured, but this sponsor, what they do is they help you find an affordable car at auction somewhere. They handle the financing for that affordable car. So basically. Uh. Uh, all the stuff that you had to be an insider to know where to be at the place at the time, to know the guy, to give the wink, to get the the 2002 Miata or whatever. Um, sure, yeah. And then, you know, and then, uh, you know, you had to have three thousand dollars of cash money to do. They handle all that. So you just get the car. And basically they reached out and they're like, hey, we want to sponsor you guys. We're not made of money, but we can give you cars. Is there anything you could do with cars? And it's like, well, we, we'd like to blow up a car. And they're like, awesome. We can get you a car to blow up. And it's like, we'd like to learn how to do crazy stuntman maneuvers with cars. And they're like, we can get you a car for that. And so uh, that should be happening. I think we're going to shoot that in like, what, a week and a half, Bryce? I have no idea. Oh, anyway, May 5th is, I think. So that's how okay. we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Oh, jeez. We can't always do these shoots on – we always play on, these shoots on, on Span- holidays. On Mexican holidays. That's the only time we shoot. <laughs> no. uh, we, we shot on Mexican 420 Day. Sure. We, we shot did. on uh, – on, Mex- on Mexican St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> on <laughs> San Mexican Day. Christmas. Uh, Mexican, <laughs> Mexican Brian Brushwood's birthday. <laughs> we, we <laughs> Wait, did we do a shoot on your birthday? I don't know. Or just Mex- okay, just Wait, Mexican we're going birthday. to <laughs> starting now. Uh, but dude, I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, there's some really cool stuff coming up. 
Dude, that is fucking awesome. And that sounds insane. I always had a question about stunt people. Are they like I always figured Touched. stunt people Yeah, they're like they're like the like, you know, goalies in hockey. You can't there's no such thing as a sane normal goalie. Like they're all weird just because you have to subjugate any profession where you have to subjugate core survival elements of humanity just means that you are going to be out of touch with humanity on some level. Like when you're turning off survival functions, it just releases other elements. So is that a, a sense? I mean, obviously he seemed like a really cool guy, but like kind of crazy, right? Yeah. And I mean this, uh, do you, okay. Steve Wolf is, 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 uh, 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 distractible. He's, he's always thinking of the next thing, right? His son, the 11 year old, super grounded like it was the most amazing thing when we met for dinner and and dash the 11 year old walks up and he's just like is it and and he was the one who walked up and started to be like brian jason so good to meet you guys and it's like i felt like i was in the pre, pre in the presence of the high school uh quarterback or whatever it was it was amazing but yeah no i think i think people uh i i, I don't think you're far off uh dude i have to say I am so jealous. Like that is that sounds like an awesome, awesome, awesome time. And and uh, I'm actually like, I, I'm super pumped. I, I assume that the video is going to be like how to shoot a bullseye the first time you pull a trigger or something, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it just well, sounds like and, such and a. And by great the way, thing. what's what's funny is, and let, let me call this shot before the video is edited, before uh -oh. it's posted. Someone hit that clip before the comments show up. I'm going to call this shot. Because um, I definitely had Put this clip before the episode itself. I definitely had uh, Jason followed all the instructions and then nailed it. And then I realized, uh, you know, we went into it knowing the title was going to be how to make your first shot a bullseye. Right. And uh, Jason nailed it. And I've, I've shot guns before uh, and, and, and done. OK. Um, but uh, but when it came time, I realized that the strength of this episode all boiled down to this one shot because it it wasn't it wasn't like i was scared to shoot a gun or whatever but it's just like fuck i have to i have to nail this or we're assholes and i got that that adrenaline rush that came, comes in and a side effect is that your hands go a little twitchy and so sure enough i'm holding it and i'm just like god damn it i look like a fucking grandma you know with 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 uh, <laughs> holding the gun and it's a little bit trembly but even with that i you know i Spoiler alert! I did hit it, but it's just like I can. But your palms were sweaty. Yeah, your knees well, were weak. Yes, yeah. well, I, I was heavy. weeping openly. Sure. I I may have you leaked on some your brown. Yeah, Bob spaghetti. Uh, but but man, gun people are a weird breed because I can already see gun people like they're walking caricatures, uh, cartoons of what you think of gun people. And they're going to be all like, I, I can already call it, where it's just like, shaking hands. Uh, what are you, scared? I'd never be scared. That's why I have guns, <laughs> you know? Well, that's what we like to call real Americans, Brian. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, but, but certainly, but, but when I would try to shoot a gun, I would shoot it with uh, my penis wrapped around the trigger and my nuts holding the barrel. That's me, weird penis gun shooting Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> On the EIB. 99.5 WRNO. My genitals have firearm reputations, Brian. Handy with the steel or my twig and berry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude. Weird episode. I'll tell you, we do have one more. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let's make some money on this. On this. Uh, 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 this uh, desiccated wait, wildebeest. Wait a minute. I, I forgot. I forgot to give. I forgot to give Bryce. Sorry. The, uh, you just need to send me the copy over. No. So just. Can... Uh, just. Uh, go, go ahead. You know what? Uh, line one says, "Talk about how poor you sleep." Uh, here yeah, we go. Should yeah. be should be arriving uh, 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 any 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 second here. Sure. Well, while we wait for the DNS, I mean, I, I, Brian is right. I do want to just talk a little bit about how shitty it is. I wake up and I don't want to wake up. I, you ever you ever feel that way when you don't want to wake up? You just like, oh man, I wish, I wish this was it. Wait, are you, are you talking about wishing for the sweet release of death? Yeah. You know, one one of those <laughs> moments when you're just like, I love dying and I want to die. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. that's because I have one of those shitty 
Spring, spring mattresses. Spring, spring mattresses. mattresses. Like, like a mattress that comes after winter but before summer. That's right. That's right. You know, I, some people even say that mattresses are, are bulky. You know, they're kind of weird, right? Like, yeah, they're square, right? That's such an inefficient use of space. You have a bed, but you're – are you – Brian, are you bed-shaped? Am I bed-shaped? Bed no. Shaped? No, Justin, I'm human-shaped. Justin, what shape are you? Uh, probably a human, yeah. Probably uh, – I would probably say most people – are not bed shaped. I well, I mean, some are. You want to project your reality on the outside world? That's fine. I mean, <laughs> well, listen, I, uh, I've I've just learned of the soft co challenge. Listen, you buy a soft co mattress, invite your friends and family to a soft co party, and bet them a million dollars, a million U.S. dollars, a million yeah, USD. U.S. dollars, right? Uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah. In all fairness, Max Trollbot in the chat points out he is bed shaped, okay, and that is he, accurate. He there, is, there are. <laughs> He is, but he's also not a human, so he doesn't need sleep. Uh, bet them a million dollars that it, your, this mattress isn't bulky or weird, right? And when they lose, and I swear on the blood of Christ, they will lose. <laughs> make them give you a million dollars. Oh, Christ. Now, listen, I don't say that easily, all right? I'm a man of the cloth. I believe in jo Lord Jesus Christ and George Lisa's rice. <laughs> George Lisa's rice. So when I say... On the blood of Christ, I mean, demand that million dollars. Okay. Yeah. And then what'd you get? You got a mattress and a million and dollars. A million and USD. a million dollars. It's huh. pretty good. Wow. Yeah. And this is this is from ISIS. <laughs> this is from <laughs> this is from <laughs> soft, 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 soft card. Soft card. Soft card. Soft you know, uh, soft co. Soft co. Oh. Not yeah. ISIS. You know, so it, it pays for itself when you fleece all of these non-believers. You know, all. <laughs> Hold on, will, it pays for all itself. will bow to soft co. <laughs> the lumbar support, Brian. Blood and glory, floor, forge and, and forge. <laughs> Blood and glory is the name of their mattress. <laughs> well, yes. Well, it be, it forges into a peaceful night's sleep and it leaves you rested and ready for work every morning. <laughs> All right. So wow. get a mattress. Hey, that sounds like a hell of a mattress. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sofka. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Are there extra sharp corners in case you're making YouTube videos with your children? <laughs> no, it's made out of a foam latex material that comes in the size of a mini fridge. Oh, uh, mm, yeah. yeah. What was that about the blood of Christ? <laughs> that I don't say it. I don't take Christ's name lightly. I no. believe it. Well, we know where his blood, apparently. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ISIS. Thank you, ISIS. <laughs> I mean, soft, Softco. 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 Uh, they're a patented soft ISIS. core action. Mm -hmm. If you want to put it in and where nobody can see it, then rely on soft core. Yeah, it's actually it is actually compatible with oh. those those flesh jacks that we were looking at in the pre show. <laughs> Avoid those explicit hardcore tags with soft co. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> uh. Hey, man, <laughs> what's going on, right? Hey, you know, we could just watch Cosmos. You know, it's, they're streaming Cosmos, right? Yeah, so I got – um, I got. I hope I'm not talking out of school. Oh, no. But uh, uh, your friend of mine, uh, uh, Fraser Kane of uh, Universe Today, they yep. had a secondary stream to go with the 24 – is it 24-hour that they're doing? Or? It's a week-long event. What are they doing? They've got to be – repeating them because, right yeah uh, i believe right now you can actually the, 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 it, you're allowed to rebroadcast it uh so you could just go to twitch.tv slash cosmos and uh they are running the original carl sagan cosmos uh, uh at the uh w with the approval of uh, uh the 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 widow sagan so um fraser invited me to join him and his universe today gang because they did like a 14 hour live stream uh, and uh, during which they provided commentary because of, like you say, you can you can rebroadcast. And he and uh, uh, what was amazing, and I think this is one of the, this is a testament to how hallowed uh, Cosmos is in in, yeah. in in our in the hearts of pro science people nationwide or worldwide. Um, is that he said, "Hey man, we're gonna uh, join us. We're gonna give commentary MST three K style, but totally respectful and and in a very pro science manner." <laughs> And, uh, shit on him. You're like, hey, fuck you, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, fuck off, Sagan. Well, science, right? Uh, billions and billions of pieces of bullshit, more like it. 
Uh, hey, speaking of which, have you watched the new MST3K? I haven't. Is it any good? Better than I thought. Way better than I thought. And the strength is really in the curation of the horrible movies that they did. I thought that hey, the movies... Really, really good ones? Like, well, specifically, they're movies that are almost... Take that apple pie, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> great Go ahead and invent the universe. Uh, uh, the um, uh, the uh, the movies are almost uh, passable, which is what makes their flaws so awesomely horrific. Uh, I'm watching the second one, where it's a a kid who gets kicked out of uh, of boarding school because he says that he was friends with Sasquatch and that Sasquatch is real, and the the stuffy old. Uh, school marm, uh, uh, schoolmaster is just like, hey, uh, no, I, I'm sorry. You, uh, we're teaching you to be honest young men here. You stand in the corner until you admit Sasquatch isn't real. And he's like, oh, but he, he likes rock and roll. And I used to give him Coca Cola's, and it's so great. And then. And then he goes and, and and he goes to sleep and then this voice and like straight out of the tenacious D bit, um, uh, you hear, you hear, uh, Sally. Your father's in great danger. It's me, Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> and so the kid runs and finds his dad, and then they find a cave filled with Coca-Cola and a, and a radio that's currently tuned to rock and roll. And, and the kid's like, uh, oh, must be a bunch of litterers around here. This is definitely not where I used to hang out with Sasquatch. And then it, they, <laughs> they're like... Uh, but this radio, isn't this your radio that I gave you for Christmas last year? And he's like, oh, <laughs> I guess it is still tuned and playing rock and roll. <laughs> so it's, so it's just like the movies are decent but awkward. And, right. and that They're, makes for that, – that, that, is, that is the fertile crescent for comedy. Correct. Uh, specifically, like, like these movies are such that I might enjoy watching them straight up the way they are. And as a result – um, you know, they, they take a million at bats, right? And maybe three out of five don't land. Uh, one will get a, a smile, but then that one out of five, that twenty percent, will just will just cause you to burst out laughing. It's it's really really good. That was always the the sweet spot with that show, though. I remember there's like you know you ever these like, these one jokes that just like stick in your brain forever and like you can like never forget them. There's like this one. I don't even know if it even reads funny now for me to explain it to you, but it was this old black and white movie where there was a clown doing a back handspring. And so it was just like a clown doing flips. Right. At the lie. I forget which person said it. Train pulls into station. That's the movie you're thinking of. But they just go, uh, birth of a nation. (laughs) They they just go, uh, 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 bongo clowns for jeans for clowns. (laughs) And, (laughs) For whatever reason, it was just like the funniest shit I ever heard. I've remembered it ever since. Like that's got to be like a twenty-year-old joke, and, and I, 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 I've, I've carried it with me. Uh, it was really fun because Josie had just come home from a sleepover, so she got no sleep, and she's clearly exhausted, and she's trying to pick fights left and right. And so she comes in, and she's like, she, she was like. <laughs> She says she won a fish at the fair last night, um, but then it comes out that okay, well I tried to win the fish, and then eventually I just bought the fish, <laughs> and so I've got this fish. So anyway, I need you to make a tank for this fish now, and it's like no, we're gonna wait, and we your mom's got to get distilled water and blah blah blah. She's like, I want it now, and I'm like, and and so I just I I hold her in my lap. And I'm just like, uh, hey, this show, they make fun of bad movies. And she's kind of pouting. And then uh, there comes this moment in the show where, uh, I don't know, something exciting happens. And the the crazy mad scientist guy, he, he jumps up and his mouth is agape and he looks terrified. And then at that time, all three of the hecklers on MST3K, they all go, oh, and so it ends up looking like he's bursting into song. And it's like in that moment, like, I didn't have to give her the legacy of MST3K for she her got to, like, like she got a shot of it right to the heart in that moment. And she was cackling and laughing, and it was really, really great. And um, uh, I, I'm going to try to slow, so slowly seduce all three of the kids into watching it, which uh, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Watch it while you're playing Hearthstone stuff because – you know, you could tune out and actually focus on the next move and not feel, you know, trapped. I feel so bad about it. Yeah, man. You're just like, hey, 
you know, I like to live a relaxed life, and play some Hearthstone and watch some Netflix originals. I'm sick of the man getting all up in my penis about it. Are you, are you drinking Colt 45 while you pilot the Millennium Falcon? While yeah, while that's me. We've now decided to market Colt 45 to 40 year old nerd dads. It's me, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> Not the actor, Billy D. Williams, but the Hell actual no, character. We ain't got the money for that. We <laughs> licensed this from Lucasfilm. Anywho. If you like well, to, uh, if, uh, if if you could maybe mention mention more of the Colt forty five on the, maybe I, I I could I could sell little toys of the Colt forty five. Got it, boss. If you have at least uh, three kids and you're not fucking with them on YouTube, I'm looking at you, Mister. <laughs> you can enjoy Colt forty five because this is the one drink to have when you're being uh, paying your mortgage and doing dad shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's pretty cool to be a dad, right? Maybe you you, you know these movies are for kids, Lando. Did you know that? That's oh hell yeah, boss! We certainly know about kids. Uh, in fact, it's even better if you never had none in your own and you adopted all of them. <laughs> well, I mean, specifically, that's why I put the beheadings in there is because these are for kids. That's why that's why he beheads Count Dooku beheads the guy. They gotta learn somehow, am I right? It's me, the licensed voice of Lando Calrissian, that'll agree with anything you say. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's good. Uh, so you'll show up. Uh, I, I, I got nothing. <laughs> it only gets real <laughs> oh, dark no, from here. We're just getting into the character work of it. I mean, unfortunately, look, look, I'm a little gun shy to go to dark places. I'm sorry. It's like, uh, like all I want to do is like, do you want a back rub, Lando? <laughs> I can give you a back rub on George Lucas. Oh, I would love one. I'll just stand here and look forward no matter what happens. And I mean no matter what. Well, well, I mean, I mean that's, uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, what would I do? While Neither I'm... do I, boss. Just <laughs> joshing around. Anyway, here's some Cold 45. It's for old nerd dads. All right, I got nothing left. That's for that's the new tagline. Instead of uh, <laughs> it's for old nerd dads. Yeah, it's for old nerd dads. All right, let's do the movie draft minute. Welcome to Movie Draft Minute, presented by Cosmic Radio TV for the week of April twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. We're not just doing it for money. We're doing it for a shitload of money. Let's go check the scoreboard. Team Nitec is in sixth place, still waiting for their first film. Team Cord Killers is in fifth place with $29.3 million. Team Scotch Bros is in fourth place with $57.2 million. Team Frog Pants is in third place with $83 million. Team Big and Tall is in second place with $136.9 million. And in first place with $196.7 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Movie Minute for the week of April 24th, 2017. Justin, I led us astray. We're wrong. We're going to fail. It's not going to work. I hinged everything on there being some kind of deep buried surprise in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And the reviews are coming out saying it's pretty much Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Wait, what do you mean? Like, 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 uh, embargo is over. Reviews are coming in. All the reviews. I haven't read any specific spoilers, but the headlines are all, uh, yeah, if you're expecting anything other than exactly the first movie again, you're going to be disappointed. And I was hoping, like, that's part of the reason I was so bullish on it, is because I thought it could, uh, you know, much like Civil War essentially was a stand in for. For uh, Infinity War advancement of plot, um, I, I thought this would be in a satisfying way, but it sounds like from the reviews, not so much. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird because there were so many of those reviews. Uh, that I haven't read any of the reviews, but uh, uh, there are so many of the uh, of the 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 the. the, the the, the tweets right afterward that were like, hey, big surprises. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Yeah, well, and and I guess that I, I, I leaned heavily on that for morale. But then uh, but then, you know, the reviews coming out like I mean, unless unless the version that they showed for review, like held something back, that's only going to show up in the theatrical release. Well, no, I mean, I think there's there's one. What's it called? One uh, uh, post credit scene or something. 
that uh, that they held back. That they held back. Uh, Turns out it's a 15 minute vignette featuring all of the Avengers. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Uh, yeah, who knows though? I mean, I'll tell you what. I'm. I'm. I. I was never. I. I, I never was was bullish on it uh, because I thought it was going to have some other gigantic thing. Like I. I I believed in the the power of the franchise and Chris Pratt as a guy. Um, the uh, again, I, I I don't think that we're going to live or die on Guardians of the Galaxy. I think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be the highest grossing movie of the summer. I don't think it's going to be close, uh, especially considering Fast and the Furious underperformed. Uh, what I do believe is. We better hope that Pirates of the Caribbean connects to the Marvel Universe oh, <laughs> because that's what we need. <laughs> what, what, what did the previous Pirates movies do? Hold on. Pirates of the Caribbean box office. Box office. Um, uh, yeah, this is the global. Um, box office mojo has Pirates of the Caribbean. One at 420. Two at 310. Then three at three oh five, four at two forty one. That's not great. That's uh Justin for anybody who doesn't have video is weeping silently. He he just is he's wiping his tears off of his mustache. <laughs> uh yeah, man. It's uh I don't know. I don't know. Uh you know, we'll 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 see what Guardians is tracking at. I wouldn't be shocked if it still did a lot more than the original, um, you know. Uh, the the you know it's got eighty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes and ninety nine percent audience want to see it. So uh, yeah. we'll see. I think it all boils down to what it's up against that weekend, which I don't happen to remember at the moment. But oh well. Uh, yeah. Hey, how about this? Uh, let's go ahead and check out Diamond Time. Diamond Time is where you can shout out your projects right here on the show. Just head on over to our Reddit. That is reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamond club dot reddit dot com. The first one comes from G.O.I. Craft. Hello, beautiful diamonds. It's me again. The flask guy shouting myself out there. I'm still crafting various items using uh, leather as my primary medium, perhaps You've seen my work on Night Attack, Critical Role, The Morning Stream, Coverville, and Punished Props. Or you've noticed Scott Fletcher, Veronica Belmont, John Kovalik, uh, TVZ Gone, and others uh, proudly showing off my handiwork. Have you ever wanted to start working with leather? Are you already working with leather and would like some tips or to share information? Would you like to see what actually goes into creating items by hand? Well, you can do that and more by visiting my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash craft. You can also see some of the things I've already made. Maybe purchase a few items or request your own custom piece at etsy.com slash gates of imagination. Now, excuse me while I sweep up some of those names I dropped. Wink. Dude, the, uh, the craftsmanship that he does on on this stuff is absolutely top notch, totally exquisite. And oh, um, hell yeah. I, I have not had the privilege to watch him do it, but but I anyone who is that talented i have to imagine it's a joy to watch uh, you know it's bob ross straight up yeah hell yeah uh meanwhile w scottis one writes hello diamond club just a fi- friendly reminder about our diamond club community game night stream quarter hour 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 it's a whole hour, hour of it yes well around three to five hours to be exact join bad weave on tuesday nights right after night attack at, after show at twitch.tv slash bad weave programming note i actually will be doing the stream tonight in bad weaves absence and i stream friday nights after right after current geek at around 8 p.m eastern at twitch.tv slash w scottis one we play jackbox games which are a freaking blast that's my commentary not his uh jackbox games including quit flash trivia murder fibbage gespionage and are potentially expanding to other games in the future we also open up the discord voice chat at night o'clock uh, night o'clock <laughs> night attack TV slash discord where you guys get to be on the stream and talk live talk with us live we're always in the jackbox underscore fuckos room and voice channel of the same name big thanks to some of our regulars Fitz, Stephen Cogswell the wonder Chris M beam open by you cooge r underscore r max strollbot Mike TV and so many countless others 
Dude, so awesome. And finally, Dragon Sky writes, Hey, Diamond people. I just wanted to bring more people to our redo of our podcast page over at geek-io.net. Also, so much going on, on over at our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash geek-io show. Also, Brian, you want to come on our show? I'll email you after I hear your reaction when you read this live. Well, fuck off, Dragon Sky. I read it, not Brian. Your plan is foiled. Just kidding, Brian. You have to answer. Go, go, go. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, the answer is 100% yes. I saw that uh, they sent me an email, and, and unfortunately, it's just a, a freaking avalanche right now, so I haven't responded. But the answer is yes. Uh, your best bet is to send me a specific time. Say yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if you can do earlier in the day, then that tends to be a good time for me. Also, let me know specifically exactly how long to carve out, and I'll put it on the calendar. If you want to submit your project for Diamond Time, head on over to uh, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. Yeah. Oh, hot damn, man. Uh, man, that internet. <laughs> what, 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 a, what a bee sting that internet is. Oh, I tell you what, man. You get the internet up here, and next thing you know, you're looking around saying... I mean, what's going on? What is this? Uh, you know, this is like the opposite of a soft co mattress. <laughs> yeah, man. Soft co mattresses are hard like an erect penis. The internet be soft like a flappy booby. <laughs> but they are firm in the way that you need them to be firm, like a hard yeah. erect penis. Yeah. Sure. By the, way, by the way, Bryce swears on the blood of Christ. I do swear <laughs> on the blood of, of my of Lord Soft co mattresses. Christ. All right. Uh, let's wrap it up. <laughs> Hey, Brian, what have we learned tonight? Uh, we learned that uh, if you step out of line with the Outrage Brigade, uh, you best be ready to oh, <laughs> suffer no. the slings and arrow. Is that I, that's what I learned. I learned that when the internet wants to throw rocks, you best grab a rock. <laughs> what about you, Justin? What else did we learn? Uh, I learned that we found something more offensive than Sharia law being implemented worldwide. <laughs> Fuck me! Bryce, what did you learn? <laughs> well, I learned how great softco mattresses are. Listen, just go and think about Night Attack when you go and buy a softco mattress. Uh, you'll, you, you'll get 15% off of your soul. <laughs> uh, hey, man, we love you guys. Uh, see you next Tuesday. I get fuck fire. so sad <laughs> that I want to drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> the yes. Whoo, <laughs> doggy. Yeehaw. Man, that's, that's a new one. That's a new one on me, man. Like, like, uh, I don't think I've ever been punished for not being angry. Like, no, you have to be angry. angry. I don't think it wasn't that you were angry. It just seemed like you were uh, excusing it. I wasn't. I think. Hold on. Hold right, on. By the way, by the way, here's how you can happen. tell I wasn't excusing it. Is I said the words. I do not excuse this, and they're bad people. But, but like, but that's not the interesting part to me. Like, like, um, uh, the interesting part is a completely different subject. Correct. Though. Correct. Yes. Yes. That is exactly that is exactly my point. And then it says like, no, you have to be interested in this, and you have to be angry. It was what we were talking about. Want to throw rocks? Okay. Well, but literally. The show is what Justin and I are talking about, and we both clearly wanted to talk about the more interesting, nuanced shit, and and everybody shat their pants with rage. Like, okay, hold on, pause, pause, pause. Here's what happened, <laughs> and no one is at fault. Here's the here's what happened. This was not something that we brought up 
beforehand. This was the, uh, like like ninety nine percent of the shit on this show. It's something that comes up in the moment. Something that I was thinking about. I talked about on a couple other things, and and I'm like, okay, well, I'd love to talk to Brian about it because again, Brian is uniquely qualified. Uh, Brian, and I'm gonna put words in your mouth. You tell them if they don't fit, right? Mm. Especially considering from your place as a YouTube person and your your ideas of, of showmanship and understanding of entertainment came in with two things that to the audience rang weird. One, that uh, uh, this is all part of the show. You guys should understand that if this is performance art, then your outrage is by design. Uh, and two... Let's understand that there are nuances to how you deal with kids, because if all of a sudden somebody walking down the aisle at H.E.B. was like to Penny, oh, my God, she's brilliant and precocious and we want to put her on television, then you and Bonnie would have the hard decision to make to say it would not be a hard decision. Uh, the answer is no, because I would never do that to my kids. OK, sure. So there there is. A there is a a, a a a process that you have previously thought of, you know, going into something like that because you've seen how that stuff works, how that sausage is made. Uh, both of those things sounded to the audience, and I'm going to put the uh, words in the audience's mouth, sounded to the audience like excusing the first. You did not mean to excuse the first. Sure, you said. You, you were just like, ah, okay, this guy, whatever, either he's, uh, they're brilliant geniuses who have created the, the newest wave of pro wrestling and performance art, or they are doing something that happens all the time and we're not freaked out about that. Isn't it weird that we're not freaked out about that? But uh, let's understand, you're like, we're all on the same page. This is horrifying child abuse, but also so was Full House. Yes. Let's talk about how fucked up Full House was. Yes, but nobody wanted to talk about how fucked up because, Full House because was. Because what they heard was, sure, this is cool, and Full House is cool, and everything's cool. That's not what you meant. And then also all of not a what I we said. Off to the races. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was a. Uh, that was that was a thing, man. Uh. So there we go. That was what happened. I think that's pretty. I you know what I, I I think that's pretty accurate. Like like, um, and 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 again, it's like you know, at some point, it doesn't matter what you actually say, because everyone just assumes they know what you what you think, I, whether I, or not you say it. Like if as a, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I, never mind. Well, uh, listen. I mean, listen, I, it's, it's communication. So yeah. we are responsible. For what people think, because we're the ones communicating. Well, and, 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 and by the and, way, but this is one of the weird. This is a weird, weird episode because we've had weird episodes before. Mm -hmm. Previously, all the weird episodes before is when there was a communication breakdown between me and Justin. I feel like Justin and I are a hundred percent on the same page, simpatico, talking the same language, and that somehow shit broke down between us and the audience. And and I uh, I, I understand. I, I like hearing you talk about it now. I understand better what you're trying to get across, uh, though. I think like uh, at least I saw Stacy mention it is that there just wasn't like any segue of like that's a separate thing. Can we change totally to another topic of conversation? It, it you know like on the outside that's kind of where the well hump, speed hump was if, was not if, having a. Do -si do down so to the so next so here's topic. here's the thing is the way I could have done that that everybody would have liked is if I took a moment and this this is like this is a, a moral issue mm -hmm. the the way I could have made it a easier journey for everyone to go is if I say everyone pull out your pitchforks they're for the fucking devil right all right let me tell you a, a ghost story about the even worse part but I don't like that middle step I'm, of I'm, of I'm, of I'm, packaging hmm. of 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 acknowledging. I don't think it's great um, to to um, so um, uh, uh, Ryan Holiday's book. Trust me, I'm lying. Um, basically, uh, this is the guy who put together the marketing uh, for uh, Tucker Max's movie, and they realized that if you want to generate uh, clicks in the blogosphere, 
Uh, sorry, if you guys see me grabbing it, there's a fly I'm trying to grab. Uh, if you want to generate clicks in the blogosphere, the easiest way to do it is to generate outrage. And what you do is you 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 package up a a, a particularly um, uh, offensive set of brief images, and you get people to react and and overreact. I think that this is a caustic, ineffective, and in general bad thing for humanity that we do. And to be honest, like there's a lot that I like and respect about um, uh, 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 Philip DeFranco, but I think it's 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 horrific that he put this together, that he acted as the Don King of this thing, and that he is profiting from the outrage against this. I, I find it ghoulish, uh, and I don't want to participate in that. And the uh, yes, I could have brought the audience along if I participated, if I acknowledged, yes, they're evil, let's all participate in the five minutes hate and then move on to what I was interested in. But instead, I refused to acknowledge it and just wanted to talk about what I thought was more interesting. And there was something in the the chat room that is like, no, we need to have the hate. And I, 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 I'm, I'm not interested in participating in that. That, and, that really wasn't what I was saying, uh, is that you needed to have a, any sort of brownie points moment of hate. Uh, no, but 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 I suspect that if I did, I think everybody would have come along for the ride. If 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 I fully indulged in these people are dog shit and they're human, they're, they're lower. Even though I've only seen three minutes of them on the internet, I can pick up which way the wind's blowing. They're they're dog shit and pieces of garbage, and we have to hate them. But let me now I, finally. I think that's putting words in, and just saying, like, let's talk about this other. Th Thing this is more important and saying that oh no more, no no just, well like, and again I, I didn't let say me, it was let more me important. let me just I'm not just saying just find it more to, interesting but, but that's that's I, what I, I, okay sorry Bryce go ahead go ahead I, I'm I that's totally cool and you definitely did put that across but like very externally saying can we talk about this instead or or so, it it felt like you were conf you were tying these two things together intrinsically rather than trying to push the topic off into a different thing in. It, I, I, at least from from from. I mean, if, if if your point is I did a poor job of hosting, then I will not dispute that because clearly people uh, didn't enjoy watching me meander like a child from one uh, from one section of Walmart to another. But but like, you know, Justin laid out a buffet the in front metaphor, of me. Of the wandering child, <laughs> the, the, the Norman Rockwell painting of <laughs> child in Walmart. I mean, uh, I mean, basically, I mean, Justin and I didn't have the structure of a game, and so Justin laid out well, a few different angles um, to, uh, uh, to you know, uh, clearly like you know what's interesting to talk about, and uh, I quickly lost interest in the five minutes hate angle and wanted to go somewhere else, and it was clear that point, I did a poor job of, of taking show, everyone along. The point of this show is to wander into a comedy thing. And so very often what happens is that we'll start talking about something that is either boring or uninteresting or controversial and then use the heat that is generated from that conversation to meander into something else. And so, it, 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 you know, I'll, while I can understand that this is a hot topic uh, and, and certainly uh, I, I didn't necessarily think that there was going to be a, a point of controversy on on anybody believing that we were like defending these people or something but i thought that we would get into a thing that is funny on top of it because we often do that we often i mean again we were talking about the fucking like let's let me under like just explain what happened we went from joking about the caliphate which <laughs> by the way is the motivation for the defining wars of our era uh, that we are alive for, right? This is the 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 roots of radical Islamic terrorism lie in the idea of a caliphate. Like that's what we're we're talking we're joking about Afghanistan and Iraq and 9/11, all of it. There's one like, common string, shit, and it's the idea of a shit caliphate. that people cut fucking heads off over. We're fucking playing with that fire, uh, and so then we move into this thing. Which, granted, is more personal because it's a, it's more recent. B, it's it's depicting something that a lot of people go through that that they that they bottle up. And the hope was, in my mind, when I brought it up, was that we would start at a place, I acknowledge it, have a general conversation, then get off into a sillier, funnier topic. Now, you can believe that that's foolhardy, as I'm sure a lot of people do. It was dumb for us, dumb for not us, me, for me to bring it up. 
and it was it was dumb for for us to talk about it uh, 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 as, as as much as we did. And, and, but and like, by, that by, was the instinct. By the way, it, it's done it a million times. It's it's not. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna let you be the only one to fall on that sword. Uh, because I was uh, like, like I had just barely read about it earlier in the day, and I'm like, I'm not gonna read anymore because I want, you know, because Justin knows about this, and I want to have a discussion and 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 suss it out during the show. I think that'll be interesting. But there was some kind of like live wire, like you know, thou shalt not consider any opinion, but they are the devil uh, that was happening. I mean, yeah, the the one thing that I I, I am disappointed in, and and I, I, it's not anything. I mean, Jesus, we we've all been hanging out for so fucking long that like I don't think that it's anything that I I want to, or I I could blame on anybody, but uh, I, I would have loved for the reaction to be, but yeah, it's child abuse instead of like stop, 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 you're defending this, you're defending this. That's, you know, that's the part that really upset me is because uh, Chat Realm is a lot of things, but censors is not often one of them. And tonight, I felt the slap of censorship very, very hard. Well, stop digging is a great we've, way to shut we've, someone up. We, we've, we've, had, we've had topics where people are like, stop it, stop it, stop it, pull up, pull up, abort, abort, abort. But usually that's... To be all right. So from from our brain to you guys, and I'll speak for Brian here. When we see like abort, 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 that's usually when the funniest shit happens. Like that's when that's when you're at this fertile place where now we are free falling, and if we can grow wings and start flying right here, it's fucking amazing. It's awesome. It's funny and it's hilarious because we were able to pull it off. This one, I'm fully willing to admit, we hit the pavement at fucking uh, 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 rapid speed, and we splattered for everybody, and the show suffered for it. But I, I can, I can uh, uh, only say that my instinct is usually that, like, hey, that's when, uh, uh, that's that, that's usually when things can can get super funny in the kind of comedy that we do, which is very often controversial topics and weird shit, you know. Yeah, no, uh, 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 there's something magic. There must have been some magic in that old clip of a child crying <laughs> that uh, that they found. By the way, they are pieces of shit. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I do, I do again want to make. And, and and by the way, I was with you, Brian, right up, and you haven't seen because you didn't see the video that they put out, like when they were first, like you know, uh, uh, admitting that it was all performance art. Yeah. But like what, what made me sure a hundred percent that they were pieces of shit was the video that we showed where they were well lit and in fucking nice. And, and the ladies doing her like in full like, on defense mode, and they're apologizing for the videos and everything. It's like, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. No. Then that means that the performance art thing earlier was a total fraud. And now you guys are seriously, like under child protective services investigations and they have found shit that's fucked up. And now you guys are doing literally everything that you can to keep your children, which I can, I can, if that's, if all that is true, then that means that either that family or those videos or a byproduct of either of them have created a fucked up place for those kids. And, and, uh, but I didn't know that until we talked about it on the show. So fuck. Yeah. Um, listen, Wait, the buck. you're getting criticized by your regular most die card fans, not a bunch of randos. You should listen. What do you think we're doing right now? We're talking about it. This is, this is what we're, this is what we're, I mean, like I, 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 you know, uh, again, we, this is not an unusual thing. It's happened a bunch of times where people are like, Hey, move on. This is not funny. And then we can make something funny about it. That's, that's kind of. The brand of the brand of 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 uh, of, of stuff, you know. Right. If well, I, uh, sorry. Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, I like. Are we? I. Uh, the if if you've ever heard the the McElroy brothers, they've uh, a couple of times in interviews talked about uh, the ways that they handle apologizing for stuff. Do you, we feel like we are in a place on some level to like apologize for? That what what they say is when someone says you hurt me with what you did, you can either say no, I didn't, or I'm sorry that I hurt you. 
Well, but that's weird because nobody said they were hurt. They said stop talking, and that was a very unusual thing. No, there was there was there was personal there was personal pain, and and and, and you know I you know I think. Uh, well, and keep in mind, I'm seeing a flood of of all that stuff. You know, sure, so yeah, stuff, and again, and that's know. that's the thing is like you know we don't read everything. We we see a general blur, but but uh, yeah, no, I I, I I I certainly saw that some people were 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 hurt by it, and uh, uh, I I would like to. Uh, uh, the the point was never. I will here. I'm going to apologize for the fact that the point was never to dwell and make child abuse funny or to get into a serious topic around child abuse as a larger thing. The point was to find a hook somewhere in this dingy, grimy, weird basement of society that we could Spider-Man fling our way out of. We were not able to do that, and that just means that we fucking went into a grimy, dark basement and fucking forced everybody to watch us step on tetanus nails, and that's not funny. So uh, for that, that was a failure on our part, and 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 I, I apologize that y'all came for a comedy show. We weren't able to deliver it for you. Uh, I agreed. Everything you said. Uh, we definitely failed you on the funny trip. Uh, and that's a bummer. But, you know, I don't know. I always felt like Night Attack was more than just funny. I thought it was insightful and thoughtful and confessional and and uh, and uh, an opportunity for us to explore ideas in non-conventional ways. But I guess tonight was not the night to shoot for that. Well, I think the other problem is that whenever we get into personal stuff, like we have personal stakes in it. And, you know, I, I don't know if even at that point, usually all the personal shit that we get into is like, we're the kind of butt of the joke, you know? And I, I don't think that either of us were. Well, and I, and I think that that's what I, uh, you know, that's <clears throat> whenever, whenever there's a witch hunt, I immediately project myself into their situation. And, uh, Again, like, you know, uh, what the chat room all wants to say is like, yeah, but you didn't see the bits. If you saw the bits, then you'd hate them like I hate them. But all I know is like I'm seeing outrage over uh, I, I'm seeing outrage over uh, exploiting kids. And as somebody who has exploited his kids for comedy, um, I, I am inherently I inherently bristle at being part of a, a, a witch hunt. Um, and, and it's. uh to me, that's an interesting aspect to explore, but apparently, you know, the act of exploring it was was a bit much for the crowd. Uh, so that's all that. Uh, yeah, you you want to look at Showbot? Right. Stacy Stacy V says you're assuming it was a witch hunt. It wasn't. It was people reacting to something that they perceived as horrifying, which is the literal definition of a witch hunt. I'm sorry. We 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 will we will agree to disagree in this regard. Like that that is a uh, uh, you know. Uh, 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 but it was a mis it 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 is a miscommunication based out of misunderstanding. Like they they didn't get that that is how you wanted how you were trying to shape the conversation. Listen, there was all right here. There was a fucking problem that we did that we were not informed on this. There's also that, yeah, you know, uh, th there's there is an element of that video. I'm not informed enough on this. Brian's not informed enough on this. Fucking. <laughs> I mean, th no. this is this is where we yell checkmate, right? Because like like uh, there's literally no move we can do because the move would be like. Uh, all right, we hate them now. You've convinced us. No, I'm not, no, I'm not even. They're, they're I don't not even want to get, get, get into this situation. Them. Like that's what's getting me. They're not. No one's trying to say that you need to hate them. Sure. It's that what they heard was they're not as bad as Hollywood, and I need to equate those two things right now. Well, that's also not what I said. So I mean, I I, I can apologize for phrasing it poorly, but I, I I'm not entirely sure what people want. Um. Like that's that's the weird part to me is 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 I is is it's totally unclear to me. Again, uh, it says, uh, uh, you know, scandal says you will not win this. I don't know what there is to win. I don't know what it is people want. I don't know what it is that that I've done wrong. 
well, again, it's like this is a discussion. Uh, Curtis Larock has has the right of it. I, I do feel like we veered into a uh, jury show uh, uh, more than traditional night attack. But but I feel like that's there's a place for that. I don't know. There was a lot of other voices for the jury show. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. But 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 again, that that kind of introspective stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do we want to do we want to stay on this? We can have Stacy B call in. Sure, sure. Have anyone Let's call stay in? Stay on it. Uh, can should we pick a show title before we? Sure. Uh, Let's uh, jump sure in a call in late. Showbot. Let's look at the showbot. We're looking at both of them, so everyone who's oh, upset holy shit, about it, showbot, jump in a calming lake. I like. <laughs> Skip the first forty minutes. <laughs> the lake's really calm. Uh, hey, that's a good quality showbot title. Man, I'll bet you they fucking, I bet you Sofco's going to want their money back. No way, dude. Uh, I looked at the. Uh, delivered the Sofco ads? Well, I looked at the Twit calendar and it says Fire NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Caliphate and the Furious? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. There we go. All right. All right. Done. Okay. I heard there was a Sofco ad on that uh, on that Philip DeFranco video. On that what? That Philip DeFranco video. Oh. Hey, yeah. I, I, other, I, I, here's I, the I, other fucking problem: is like, <sighs> like fucking Philip DeFranco is making bank by stirring the pot. No, I'm, dude, I'm and not I, getting into that. You can you can get into this fuck Philip DeFranco thing. I'm not getting into that. Well, like, well like, and again, it's not him. It's the whole. It's all. It's the whole uh, 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 outrage industrial complex that we have. Like clicks drive ad revenues. Drive you know. Figure out how to make everybody angry about a thing and find two sides of it. And it's like, ugh. It's it's. I I find it uh, uh, perverse and disgusting. And it's really hard for me to want to participate. Yeah. All right. Well, here, Stacy, call in. Night attack show is open. Uh. You know, hey, listen, uh, some people were like, like, hey, this is a comedy show. And I, I do agree with Brian. Primarily, we are uh, here. We are here because Brian and I like to make each other laugh. Uh, so this is a comedy show, but we also like to have this other stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's Ghost Dad. Right. And sometimes it's ugly. And sometimes it's Brian and I fucking being butthurt with each other and dragging that out in the public in an ugly, fucked up way. Uh, and sometimes there's this episode, which I think is like, this is a noble failure. Like, I, I just think, I think it's like, we tried to do a thing, we couldn't do a thing. But I don't think that it was a problem with our process, if anything, uh, as he said, to spun into a self-aggrandizing way. No, it, uh, all, all right. The other episode's so much more impressive. Uh, well, uh, joining us on the line is a person who I love dearly, and I and I and I truly hope Aww. she doesn't hate me, uh, uh, Stacy. Oh, I don't hate you, <laughs> uh, St Stacy. I know. I uh, clearly we touched a nerve, and it drove you a little nuts. Um, it, no, no, no. And I think I think it's it's more frustrating the format in which we're having a conversation because I'm trying to put forth like complex, you know, uh, points and you guys are just seeing a flooded chat room. Um, I think the issue for me personally, and I think a lot of people agreed with me was you were, you were putting a narrative onto something that was very painful and hurtful to a lot of us. Well, and, and keep in mind have... from, from my perspective, I am speculating a narrative and, and right. there are times, there are times that, uh, if, if, if there's a mistake I make, it's that assuming that I'm already in a uh, in order to get into the headspace of night attack, uh, th there has to be this false projection that I'm in a safe space where I could say anything. And, and out of that comes hilarious Which stories. Normally of that is the case. And that's why we love the show. The problem is, is that I think that there's very few times where 
where something hits and you said it when when I first got on the line you were right it does it hits a nerve and we weren't trying to censor you and we because that's the last thing I think that there is not one person on in in this audience that is for censorship or that is for hate mongering or that is for you know the ugly parts of the internet I don't think that that's what anyone wanted at all what we wanted was we wanted you to acknowledge hey uh this might be hurtful for some people maybe we should move on to something else not because not because it was um not because we wanted you to stop talking about it because it was it was offensive it was that we were personally hurt not offended there's a difference between offended and hurt and so you know talking about something that is traumatic or that you, is you know what i wonder i wonder if i have an unfair bias and and for this i truly apologize because everybody um i and man this is this is full on prejudice on my part every person who told me to stop talking i looked and said doesn't have kids doesn't have kids doesn't have kids and i felt like 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 i felt entitled to keep talking because uh, because I was closest to this situation and but you weren't because you're not you're not an abuse you're not a formerly abused child and the the people that are formerly and abused we've all been, children oh, that's they interesting. are the closest to this wow topic. that's a really good <laughs> reversal St uh, uh, Stacy that's that's very interesting um wow I you're right I'm totally that's guilty what we were trying to get you to see I am totally guilty of seeing all of this through the lens of being a parent uh, wow, that's very, very well put. And, and I wish, uh, um, uh, obviously, a flood of chat is not the best venue to, to get ideas across. And, and in, a, in an alternate reality, I might have seen that. But uh, wow, that's, that's really good. Yeah, and also, just, just and this is not, this is an explanation uh, of, of things, just so you guys understand what our experience is. Uh, and like mine, like literally I'm getting a drop frame every three seconds on, on this and I'm watching two chats. So it's like, mm -hmm. there's, there is not a tremendous amount of comprehension that I can get. And I know that, that Brian is trying to keep an eye on me on another monitor and read a chat. That's not right in his, his line of vision. And like, uh, uh, there's, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. So, yeah, so just and, and I think we all, we all know that, or at least people that have been in chat room for a while, which is why, like, every time, like, the one message that you that you read of mine was, like, not what I was putting, was not what I was saying the entire show. Like, I was putting in messages, and the one that you had read was, like, oh, that was, like, the worst message of mine that well, you could well, have read. Uh, <laughs> trust me, if anybody is in a position to, to have sympathy for poor communication, it's me right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it, it was it was more of, um, I think you were coming at it from the parents' point of view, which is it's it's that's understandable because that's where you have the most well, experience. Well, and specifically, you know, it it immediately puts me on defense because I am objectively a hundred percent guilty of whatever the you know we can we can argue about degrees and no, you're one of the good ones, Brian. But I am factually exactly guilty of what these people are accused of. And if it's a crime for them, it's a crime for me. And I'm not here's willing- where, Here's where the issue is that I get, because you said that a couple times too. Um, did you watch all of the videos? No, but but again, uh, all that changes is okay. degrees. All, all that changes is degrees. Like, like No, 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 no. Yes, yes, where, yes. I mean, yes, yes. This is where we're getting a little bit also the only difference between, you know, a, 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 uh, a, a returning war veteran and Hitler is degrees. Like uh, they were okay. both. Yeah, yeah like, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, like when you when you're literally the kid is is losing his breath and not and because he's screaming so loud because he's in such anguish because his parents are verbally and mentally abusing him on camera. Sure. Like that. You you have never done that to your kids on or off camera. I'm 100 percent certain. Yes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so, pretty sure. <laughs> so that it's not the fact that they had a camera in their face. Nobody was was. And in fact, I, you have no idea how much I wanted video evidence of the shit that was happening to me when I was a kid. Like I would have killed for that. But, you know, it, you, you that's something where you need to 
step back and go, hey, wait a second, maybe that's not the issue. The issue wasn't that they were putting a camera on their kids' faces. The issue was the what they were recording was abuse. <laughs> that was the issue. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, huh. Uh, well put, Stacy. Wow. All right. <laughs> But yeah, um, no, that's that's all I really because I just wanted to come on and because I don't I didn't think that I think a lot of people were saying a lot of different things and I just wanted to hopefully uh, clear it up. Yeah. Thanks love you guys. All right. Well, big hugs. <laughs> hugs. And I still love you, Brian. All right. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Everybody, big, uh, big, 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 big round of applause for Stacy B. Uh, for calling in. Uh, all right. You guys ready to start the show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was that was actually really cathartic. I feel like I feel like there was a, a real meeting of the minds by the end there. 